Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a year now since I make uh, my last video. Um, so now I'm back in making tutorial and for the first one that's gonna be about Golang where we're gonna build a rest API and this video is gonna be more focused for those coming from an OGS background like myself. So yeah, so in this tutorial, uh, what we're gonna learn is it's not gonna be best practice because I didn't use uh, Go, uh, no, Golang for a long time. It's been less than a year, but more of like six months. And yeah, it's not best practice because what I do mean, it's the fact that I didn't find online everything I need to build uh, stuff for myself. So here it's gonna be about the stuff I've learned and the stuff I would like uh, myself to have find before I was jumping in this uh, Golang world. Yes, because a lot of tutorials are online for Golang, but I feel those tutorials are more focused about the Golang language or like full web uh, stuff in Golang. What I do mean is by using Golang template and stuff like that. And at the moment I was making my stuff with Golang, my plan was to build a rest API for a, a React Native uh, project. And I feel, yeah, I was missing a lot of stuff. So here, it's gonna be more a place for me where I can just show you the stuff I was missing at the moment. And I hope that's gonna help you for those like myself coming from a Node.js background to get into Golang and see them. It's almost the same stuff. And I feel it's much more easier in Golang than Node.js after all those issues. So yeah. so. This tutorial, because it's gonna be kind of a beginner-ish friendly stuff in Golang, we're gonna just build a to-do list, but don't worry, don't go away right now. It's not gonna be this simple to-do list where I just create stuff and thing like that. At least we're gonna have user authentication with GWT. So yeah, you're gonna learn about how to use a GWT in Go, how to uh, authorize a user, how to make forbidden error when the user try to delete another user to-do and stuff like that. We're gonna learn the CRUD, uh, and we're gonna have at least one relationship where we're gonna have a user who can have many to do and stuff like that. So yeah, not gonna be that crazy tutorial, but I feel when you jump into this uh, language, uh, it's gonna be just enough to at least get your mind over it. Because after that, everything you have learned from other language, you can kind of get it into Golang, even if Golang have his own mindset of. Uh, of uh, doing stuff so yeah like i say remember that it's not a best practice so don't take everything i'm gonna say here uh, f like for granted and say oh everything you show here it's perfect i'm gonna use it in my app and after that your app crash and stuff like that because uh, i didn't make it to scale and yeah it just i just want more people to get into golang like myself and now i'm loving it and i'm trying to learn it every day but yeah it's uh, it's not that easy so for the requirement, uh, I want you to have some basic of no, uh, knowledge of uh, Golang, just because that will not be a tutorial from uh, A to Z, like where finally I'm gonna show you variable, cons, pointer, struct, and everything like that. It's more, like I say, it's gonna be even enough to just know how to build a recipe with that, then yeah. So if you came from, again, a Node.js background, it, uh, Golang, it's really not scary. Uh, the only thing was missing for myself when I came, it's like pointer. Uh, you see, I, I don't have a CS background, so all this stuff it's, uh, was not for me. Uh, after that, uh, also some knowledge of SQL. We're going to use Postgres. So why I want you to have some knowledge of SQL is because uh, we're going to create our own uh, migration and by using the uh, plain SQL language. So yeah, and by knowledge, I just mean at least you know how to create table, uh, you know uh, what is a var char and stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but just enough to be, uh, to, to, to build stuff with that. After that, I want you also to have a uh, Golang 1.13 install. Uh, I'm a Mac user, so I was using Umbrew. If you came from Windows, I don't have, I have no idea about how you installed it, but I, if you go to the Golang website, you're gonna find it. But I just think if you have already some basic knowledge of Golang, you're gonna have Golang installed already. So yeah. Also, I, um, I would like you to have already a text editor with Golang support. Example, Sublime, Atom, and VS Code, they all have it. 
you can use Vim if you want. Uh, myself, I'm gonna use Golan. I've been using JetBrain for like a year now almost. Uh, it, all the product they have, and uh, I really feel Golan was even the, their best product from uh, my point of view, and I really love it. After that, we're gonna also use Postman. Postman is a client where you can test your REST uh, API with that, and it's free, so why not install it? And you're gonna see it's pretty awesome, and I'm pretty sure uh, if you have followed me before, I've used it a lot, so yeah. And I'm gonna use also Postico for the Postgres GUI just because I feel uh, if we jump in the terminal and do all this stuff, it's, I mean, I'm not here to uh, teach you a command and stuff like that. I'm here to just help you getting into it. So by using a GUI, I think it's gonna be easier to just see what happened in the database. For the stack, what we're gonna use, it's gonna be Golang 1.13, like I did say. Chai for the web router. So Chai, it's kind of like Express. Why I do like Chai versus the other Web router in Golang is the fact that Chai for me was kind of a pretty minimalist. And um, if you have read some stuff about Golang, they all love uh, to keep the standard library. And what I did like about Chai is the fact that that, that follow uh, this kind of uh, uh, signature for the handler and stuff like that. So it's pretty easy to uh, to jump between the standard library and Chai after that if you want. So that for the database, we're gonna use Postgres uh, for the. ORM ish, we're gonna use GoPG. Uh, I was using SQLX in the past and stuff like that, but I just feel for us beginner who start in this uh, process, GoPG is gonna be just enough, yeah, just enough abstraction. And I feel also it's uh, for me with all those I, uh, I did try, that was the most easier one and the one who have the uh, you don't eat that much of the performance, so yeah. For the authentication, we're gonna use GWT Go. Nothing crazy here. It's gonna be just a Go imp implementation about making GWT token and stuff like that. For the migration, we're gonna use Golang Migrate. It's not really about just Golang, but it's a CLI tool where we can create um, uh, the migration file where you have an up and down and that follow the timestamp stuff. So you can follow the order. So it's easy after that to roll back and thing like that. And we're gonna use Golang Gen Reload, not the Gen Web Framework, but the Gen Reload. So it's just another CLI where finally it's gonna act like Nodeman. So we're gonna restart your uh, project every time you save, and you do a change. And uh, yeah, without that, it's <laughs> it's a bit painful to work and building stuff just because yeah, it's uh, Golang. It's really fast. Uh, to compile, but man, I don't like to always restore my server on any change, so yeah. And keep in mind, it's my first tutorial in Golang, so I must, I don't gonna be perfect, and I'm gonna be really far from perfect, but I hope uh, what I'm gonna teach you here is gonna be just enough for you to get into Golang and see why a lot of people loving it, and also you're gonna see why Go I, I feel Golang it's a really nice stack to build your next uh, project. And after that, I mean, if people really want it, you can just tell me in the comment. I'm gonna, after that, maybe create a React Native app for this recipe in an in an other tutorial. And we're gonna use React Cook and stuff like that, like all the new stuff. Because yeah, the last time I did make a video with React Native, React Cook was not in React Native yet, so yeah. So I hope you enjoy, and we're gonna start in the next video. And yeah, bye everyone.